All right, I'm undertaking from today uh, a cycling journey from uh, Tromsø or Tisnes, just nearby Tromsø, north of Norway, up to uh, where I come from in France, Trélier or not. I hope everything's going to be going all right, and I hope it's not going to be too hard on the legs, especially going up. The trailer would be about 20 kilos, 15, 20 kilos uh, bike should be uh, loaded with about 8, 10 kilos. <laughs> Here we go, that's the time. Alright, turn on on the left. So I have to press this button. See? Cyclist in the tunnel. Let's go. The light is working! It is going up. Okay. I see the end. I'm not going to be that often uh, on the waterfront. It's very unusual to have a stone house in Norway, especially like this. But actually, it is. Uh, the lower part of the barn. The barn is gone. Going on Stuhlstenes. Cute little bus shelter. I'm actually glad I took this route because I can see this. Checking the GPS. Yeah, I'm turning on the E6. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here for the night. And uh, when I detached the trailer from the bicycle, the bicycle fell which broke, but I just fixed for my GoPro. Day number two. Then you can see all the condensation already. The challenge today is going to be cars. They're right now, big 127. Those blueberries and tomatoes from the dumpster, they taste nothing. So here happened the Battle of Narvik, the first defeat of the Nazis in the Second World War in Norway. Just talked with a couple from Germany. I have the feeling I'm cycling down a little bit, but the river on the right goes that way. Going pretty fast now, eh? I've gone through a long way up in the sheep. I'm probably at around 300 meters high. I'm using a fair amount of food. No? The road goes down 7%. I'm leaving Trums for Nordland. According to the sign over there, I am 7 kilometers from Narvik, but 911 from Trondheim. Uh, it's not on my map. Very nice tunnel! I missed the cycle path on the right. Look how perfect it is, the place for the bike for the night. Yeah, I'm actually very glad about this spot. I'm gonna have a good night. Start of the third day. Nice little bridge over there. For a long time I wanted to go in one of those empty houses. Now it is the time. The condition has pity that he's left alone. Nice fishing. The full south in Ireland, 685 meters long. I came here before. I almost would like to swim. There we go. Initially, I wanted to take a left turn in here to Shopsvik. From Dime 845, Fosca 178. If you look at this mountain, I've been told by a geologist over there that. Um, Actually, this is the lava from a volcano. All the rocks around has been eroded through time. Flies are catching up with me, super annoying. I cannot go faster. That's much more funny here. Yeah? Driving to the ferry dock. And the ferry is free for pedestrian and bicycles. Hey. 8% 
going up. My first U curve on the way up. Done it! Yeah, I'm tired. I really need to find a spot for the night now. I ask and I cannot put my tent in here. Yeah, I don't like this spot, but uh, I didn't find anything else. The fourth day awaits. It's gonna be a tunnel day. 520 meters. I am over 400 meters high. Super long way down! That sign here is telling me that uh, the tunnel is not for cyclists. I have to take uh, a right turn. It kind of feels better when the road is just for myself and I have no traffic behind me. Yeah, I think he was referring to this tunnel. It is very dark. I hope there's no holes. Oh la la, 10% down coming up. That will be fast. Many tunnels to come. 1.3 kilometers going uphill. 500 meters. 1,400 meters. It's really good in the tunnels because it's cooler and the sun doesn't heat up. Oscar, 41 kilometers. In tunnels, there is barely any air resistance, so it's kind of easier, it goes faster. Two tunnels in a row. 800 meters. Way down in the curve. For the first time I'm out of water. About six kilometers away from Fosca. Train station, bus station of Fosca. Just wash my clothes and myself. Full time 6.68. See a mission trying to find a spot for the tent. This is where I'm gonna sleep tonight. They're down here at 6% to start the day. Wow, 1,790 meters tunnel. It is 6.45 a.m. 1,100 meters. I'm going to Rognan for dumpster diving. Hopefully I can find something. This is another nice eco museum. I will take a few pictures. Basket of bread and danishes. Long stop in the Rundan. I had a nice stop with a couple from the Netherlands. On the right is a train track that I'm probably gonna follow. This is actually a Norwegian uh, second hand store. There's a lot of stuff, looks more like a museum. And you have a nice little cafe in there. <laughs> this is the Norden National Park Center. Uh, some way up ahead. I think about 20 degrees now, I guess. Line 597. Railroad is here. I'm around 700 meters high. Arctic Circle, 2 kilometers. The Arctic Circle center on the left. Center, it's just a big shop. Just freshen up and group photo. Here we go again. On the northern part of the Arctic Circle, the wind was blowing north to south. Now it seems it's blowing south to north. Very good night last night. Yeah. 575 for Drondheim. The folks just crossed the road in here. It is so quiet in here. Motorcycle museum and dumpster diving. Il est bon et non, ce tunnel. A little 650. The thing is, sign is saying that uh, you have to pay when you're a car on this road. I just found grilled chicken. Like this eeps in this bin. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, no, no, it's nothing very special. Oh, it's a cute little tunnel for the bicycle. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not paying. Uh, no bicycle and people walking in this tunnel. I have to take a side road. And it is going down in the mountain. Shit, this tunnel is over 8 kilometers and not allowed for bicycle. So I have to go that way. It's going up quite bad. I didn't see that vicious one coming up. Starting enjoying it. My legs are doing incredibly well. It's extremely long. I'm not far from the top. I think this is the top. We're going down. Actually, the road I just 
this too can going up and down. It's called the Blood Road and uh, it was built by Yugoslavians and Soviets prisoners during Second World War. I could refill in food, so it's going to be a good breakfast. According to this sign, I'm uh, less than 900 kilometers from Oslo. tonight. It's just a border between uh, Nord Norge, the northern of Norway, and um, Trendelag, where Trondheim is. You can see over there, the train has derailed. To be honest, I like to stop. I have a pain on my right ankle. Right there. Yeah, well, I feel it. Eh? At Krong, I left the E6 to get the 391. Back on the E6. Two living slows up. So this is a lucky evening. Put my hammock over there. I'm in a schoolyard. Put the bike here, with shelter, and got some dumpster diving just in the supermarket next uh, door. Let's have a look. So the concept of dumpster diving is fairly easy. It's mostly connected to food, and it's going to behind a supermarket usually, and go in dumpsters of the supermarkets, and try to find the, all the stuff that has been thrown away, which is expired products or damaged goods. This is already what I've got, and I'm gonna take more because it's very good. Now, the second part of the lucky evening is I just found this broken bike. The side of the tires are matching mine. It is just past 7.15. It's getting warmer. In Bella, let the water go and see something. Okay, I'm struggling for that one. Up. And this is somebody else's in the library now to charge my devices and I keep an eye on my bike. I already got what I needed from this one. More traffic, more heat, more insects. Yeah, it's quite epic, yeah. Keeps me awake. Up, up. <sighs> I am in from two cherry trees loaded with cherries. Look at that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat them. It is 9 p.m. I get cycling because I know that on the morning it's gonna be much more traffic. I'm thinking about putting my tent somewhere. Here. My ankle, unfortunately, is not going very well now. where the Trondheim airport is. This is the only bridge I can uh, take to cross this river. In Trondheim Stavikirke, I just want to see the Stavikirke, which is just behind over there. You have to actually pay to get in. And I left my trailer at Ida's place. It's awesome actually how much lighter it is. Here we go, today we're gonna leave Trondheim and I spend the night with um, Elisabeth uh, from Quebec that I worked with in, uh, in Tromsø. About to leave Trondheim now. The clouds are a bit threatening. It's windy, it is warm. It should rain probably Sunday night. The ankle feels better. I'm anxious and uh, we'll see how it goes today. It feels good to cycle, it feels good to move again. Water 
in supermarkets or toilets. Very white hay. I'm going upstream. The river goes that way. Just past eight, Sunday morning. I keep adding food weight on my trailer. I'm still going up. On this waterfall, I could actually see a couple of fish trying to go upstream. Well, let me change side. According to the DPS that I just checked, I'm over 660 meters, which is about the same height as Ororos. Ororos Comune! Stone and wood work together. So I had a very nice conversation with this uh, farmer, which is actually only running trips and running the dogs during the winter time. <laughs> extremely pretty Et voila! This is gonna be my spot for the night The poles are actually distant enough to put the hammock Just, just, just and I charge my phone over there I'm super anxious about today um, The rain should have started before So far it's not raining so I packed very quickly And I'm gonna go on the road as far as I can until the rain hits Find a shelter. Not very good. I'm cold. After a very long break in the, in the train station, the rain stopped. I am dry mostly, except for the feet. Back in a state of wetness. It drops. Yeah, it's wet. Slightly wet inside. Mm, the good smell of our spa. Feel the heat coming out of it. Cows come to say hi. The modern trick passage. Good morning. It's a very quiet town. Just ask some advice for the best road to take tomorrow from Avdal. Here's where I'm going to sleep for tonight. Put a bicycle, put two benches, and the mat on top of the benches. The new day starts. I had a very nice night in here. According to the sign over there, also at 305 kilometers, Elbe Room 167. I have the feeling that the roads beside the number three are going to be in poor shape. I'm going on the number three, I don't care. I start to hate this day. Number three just behind me. I'm going to take it all the way because this is going to be just shit dirt road like the one I am right now. Maybe while waiting I could recharge my phone on the traffic light. I'm cycling fairly, fairly well this morning. Um, I don't know how far I am right now. I, I will have to check the GPS. There's toilets over there. I'm going to dry my hands a little bit. The trailer gets, of course, wet. Actually, very little traffic so far. Yeah, this is a very big road. Nice break in Copan. And I'm going back to the road number three. Getting just a little bit more pizza energy before going. Rena 59. We just found out on the map. This is actually the Inland University of Applied Science of Norway. And I'd love to spend the night on this. It smells very nice wood. I think it's part of the night. I think there's an abandoned house in here. Yeah, it could have been good, but there's no way I can bring the bike over there, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to check in the Opus train station. You know what? I'm going to go and sleep in this train station. <laughs> Collected on the road just before Everum, so I'm just gonna get cash now. I 
I just dropped my GPS phone, it's dead. All the maps, all itineraries were on this. I'm gonna put some air inside. Yeah, it feels a bit better. In Norway, in the farm, uh, they display some of the products and you come, you pick up your stuff and you pay. It's self-service basically. So they trust people. You have the VIPs account or you pay by cash. This is the 6 I found my spot. It's 6 a.m. and it's kind of a fresh morning. Here we go, D-Day for Oslo. Oslo 51. You can't see. Ravel and Rita that I met in Tromsø a long time ago. I am just leaving Ravel and Rita's place. Look what Rita made for me. Nice good sandwiches. Hmm. The wind is against me. Well, this ferry, which is Turgatan, is uh, free for uh, pedestrian passengers and uh, bicycle. I'm gonna sleep in this Barnehage. I'm just behind the Barnehage. I have an early departure today, because last night when I fell asleep, security guy came. So, uh, it was kind enough to let me stay. The wind is back, yeah? Dark clouds. My injury on my right ankle is coming back. I was talking for more than one hour with this French guy. Well, he was talking. Here, I'll take one. And this path leads to this waterfall that I almost missed. Basically, I am in Sweden now. It is possible that dumpster diving is working the same way in Sweden. I asked if I could have my bottle refill in the uh, Ica shop right here, and uh, the guy gave me also a banana. In the small town of Dingo in Sweden, I managed to put my tent in this park, and nobody told me anything. This is the E6. Jackpot this morning. Something I've noticed so far is I come from there. I'm ending up in here. I don't know if the cycle path goes there, there, or if I follow, if I have to follow the road. Taking the road with it, you cannot go wrong. I came across this twice today. It's very good. It's to put hair in your tires. start uh, at the end of the day some bad weather is gonna come and the further south I go the less chance I'm gonna get wet Ooh. drying the tent 
it. Helsingborg, 235 kilometers. Reserve, and I'm gonna sleep in there. When I put the hummock last night, I thought, ah, not gonna rain, and uh, the forecast, all forecast, said no rain. And in the middle of the night, some drops through the mesh. So, in a hurry, putting the the top. It is a long one. I need to mention this because it's very nice. In gas stations, you can actually refill water, air, and I can also clean myself a little bit. Getting closer to the ferry! Yeah, sure, I have to wait here. Ticket boat, 56 Swedish kroner. Going to Denmark. I bought a ticket, but actually I could have been on board for free. Bye bye Sweden. Hello Denmark. Just a little bit of work. I switched the wheels. This one is much more smooth than this one. And I cleaned up the attachment. The grass roof toward the shore. It is kind of dark. Copenhagen is 15 kilometers away. You want me to go down that way? But first, inside. Early morning, that's why there's so many, so few people in town. In Copenhagen, I hear so many Americans, and it's kind of filthy in the center because of all the bars. Trashy, trashy. It's prophecy. And it's a small netto, it seems. They leave everything outside. A couple of more stuff in the Rema Denmark. People doing Pilates or kickboxing, some cannons. Shaking baker's garbage. Until the end of the day, I would basically have about 70 kilometers of straight road. It's about 25 degrees, light breeze. I've just been washing my shirt in the gas station. Apple from the neighbor. <laughs> straight, straight road. From the gas station container just across the road. Ooh la la, I'm eating too much. Look at all those apples. Thing nice to say, I just bought this for 25 kroner um, because I had 23 kroner that I had from Denmark that I had to get rid of, and because I didn't have enough, I was about to put it to put this back. And the lady at the cashier just said, Oh, I have two kroner, so you can. She was an immigrant, very nice. I am 57 kilometers from the ferry terminal. I was planning to do another 12, 15 kilometers, but I found this spot. It's perfect, well sheltered. It is just about 7 a.m. The speed detector at the entrance of Gulbo told me I was at 28 kilometers an hour. Look at that. You put your money in there and you can buy that for five kroner. Eat small food in Netto. I just missed the ferry because I wanted to go and get some water. So I'm charging all my stuff. And this is a scan lines to get. Jesus Christ. Bye bye.
Norvège et Danemark. Germany, Germany. The second road is in bad shape. Look what I just found. So that was a very fun thing with the bike. I come from there, then with a the trailer and the bike, getting there, trying to open the gates, keeping it open and closing it. Oh my god! C'est le temps des murs. Oh. Looking for a spot for the night. Yeah, it's much warmer in Germany. It's a straight road. I got all cleaned up with my clothes in this gas station. I really like what they do on the signs. They write that the next town or village, it's um, one kilometer for this one. Uh oh, actually the GPS wants me to go there. Nah, I'm gonna go back to the road. Yes, the road. Sunscreen. Some of my chocolate is melting because of the heat. Blue start to the ferry. Close to 30 degrees now. Is it the queue to get on board the ferry? Woo, I'm walking in. We go on the other side of the river. The crossing is 3 euro 50. avoided uh, Amberg, that's why I crossed the river with the ferry. I just came across a cyclist and he was very right, he was actually topless. So I'm gonna do the same and it feels much better. And you can see the fast rate is actually transporting people from one side to the other. I start to run out of power. I am a little bit tired. Refill the water and clean my clothes for the second time today. Getting out of the woods where we spend the night. About 11 kilometers to the river crossing. Right now it's fairly warm. Super Brookie. Tell me, Skyder, when I missed it. Have you seen the size of these apples? Well, big amount of birds in here. It's like day two. Camping. End of day two. Clean up Aldi. I usually see dead birds or dead mouse on the road, but this one is a dead bout. I'm Batman. I actually eat, but I'm not really hungry. But everything is going to turn bad because it's too hot. Fresh enough. 27 or 8, and it is 39 degrees. So this bridge is actually um, crossing the border and the border is simply this river. is not working. I was asking to refill my water at spa. They couldn't help me so the lady actually brought me home and refilled the water and gave me cookies. It is 12 o'clock. It is really really warm or hot. See, the wind is against me. The wind is picking up. It comes from southwest. So it's gonna be a bit harder than I thought and I would like to do another 100 kilometers today. I've got bread, cheese and cakes. The GPS made me avoid that shop. Where I got the food. Funny. I have a huge challenge now. It's to try 
tried to get a free bus and the last one is in one hour and I'm 25 kilometers away and I have the wind against me I am three kilometers away the bus is here with the trailer on on the other side the plan is to actually get a shelter for the night because it's gonna rain heavy it has actually barely been raining last night so I could have slept in my hammock somewhere it is 6 30 a.m temperature is cooler the wind is rising and the legs are doing good the road is clean but they clean the road <laughs> Amsterdam. The funny thing is actually uh, there is about 99% of the people in here that actually don't use helmets. Oh, a banana. I am leaving Amsterdam. From where I am right now, I have 66 kilometers to get to Hoek van Holland, the ferry terminal, in about six hours. So it's gonna be cruisy. I am rushing, I will explain later. I have to be on the ferry tonight. It's booked out tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. I am just out of water. Covered with greenhouses. You can see my boat over there. Here and we're gonna go up. Right, two, two, three. I was about to book the ferry for tomorrow and it was all sold out. The next day was the same. I didn't want to waste two days and uh, it was this one available. And the first thing to do now is a shower. Today, it has been a month since I left Tromsø. It seems we have arrived yet. Oh, there's some moisture, it rains a bit. Shifting mirror to the other side. in Sudbury. Water. They have market in the church. So the big fear of the morning is I lost my passport. And I looked everywhere in my bags where I could have put it. Couldn't find it. I was I just started to cycle back to uh, Outreach to see if it was not on the on the road at the, at the port or at the ferry terminal. And then I stopped again and I thought maybe it has slided in the pocket where I put nothing because the pocket is too slim and it was there. Without the bike. Yeah. I got some nice free fetch samples.
living with the sunrise. Ricky. GPS, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna get wet soon. Here we go with the rain and the wind. I am not having fun right now. I believe these cold British showers mean welcome to Oxford, David. Oh, my calf hurts. Uh... Arrived. Oxford, where we're gonna be working for about two months. This is the trailer. She's gonna be sleeping in here. The bicycle is downstairs outside and covered with a tarp. On all those kilometers, about 3,500 kilometers I've been riding, uh, not a single puncture on my tires. The pedals, however, are kind of broken, but I'm very glad to actually be able to rest because my legs are quite tired. <laughs> So after more than three months in Oxford, I'm leaving tomorrow. The weather is not going to be very good. I have new device for the, my bike with bigger bags. So there is a very unpleasant change of plan. My ferry is cancelled. I booked another ferry to go from Portsmouth to Saint Malo. So it might be cancelled as well. <coughs> there we go. Nice bikey. Fully loaded as well. Here we go again. Heading south. I am much lower. I have to pass this range of hills. My legs are really tired. No strength. This one will be very hard. I have to go through a small uphill. I got cramps here, and then there, and then there, and then there. Here come the rain. Yeah, full rain kills. I look nice, huh? Yeah, it's lightning at dark. I don't see much. I just stayed the night at uh, somebody's house. So this is Alton. I couldn't understand why I was so slow, it was hard to pull. I have a flat tire on the trailer. I just found this garage where I'm gonna change the tube at least. All right, I got the reason. It's because of the membrane, which is this, which is going inside here that protects uh, the tube from all those screws broke. So the tube has been punctured by those screws and since I cannot fix the membrane, I'm gonna put some scotch tape all around inside to rubberize a little bit and protect the, the tube. So that's it. Ta -da! I lost about a good hour and a half of cycling. Shit! Big hill ahead! Very wet. Rock north! I got it in front of everybody. Yeah, the bike should be secured. So now let's go upstairs. I am on the ferry to San Malo. Alignement mégalithique. Very steep street. I feel I'm gonna faint. I don't eat enough. I need to get food. So I got a tabouret au poulet and some crepes. Found a spot for the night. Shitty night in the hammock because uh, I'm all sweaty. I didn't change my clothes. It's raining a bit. It's a very windy night. We are gone for the last day. My knees really hurt. Arriving in Plechate where I'm gonna get breakfast. My knees are killing me. The last 50 kilometers. 
kilometers. If you hear a view on the main of Avare, it's halfway heading to Grand Champ des Fontaines. I have another 20, 21 kilometers to make Grand Champ des Fontaines. I arrived. I'm very glad to have completed the journey. Thank you very much, bicycle saddle bags. Thank you, trailer. Thank you. Almost don't expect it to arrive with sunlight, and actually, I arrive when the sun is setting. So.